Yes, yeah, sir. We are late to the party, and it's almost time for the Warrens to return for the third entry in the core Conjuring series. Yes, I am interested to see how this one plays out. I love the first movie. The second movie, they amped it up a little bit, um, but that, that I hope that maybe we can go back to form like it, we did with the first movie, but we shall see. I mean, there is definitely a lot going on in the Conjuring universe. So yeah, tying it back just to the Warrens, it's actually what I really liked about uh, Annabelle Comes Home, uh, was that you did get the Warrens in there a little bit they were kind of off for most of the movie but then they came back in and they were part of it and i love when the warrens are around so i really do want to see that relationship and how more of these cases end up challenging them so let's yes. take a look at the final trailer for the conjuring the devil made me do it now the court accepts the existence of god Every time a witness swears to tell the truth, I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. It's a good line. It okay is. <laughs> Jesus. I think I hurt someone. In 1981, Arnie Johnson pled not guilty. We think this family was cursed. By reason of demonic possession. I am not going before a grand jury <laughs> and saying he was possessed by demons. Whatever happened that day, that was not Arnie. Intense music. Dun dun dun. Color me your color, darling. Oh. It's very exorcist. <laughs> from. From. I just got chills on my back. I love how they keep it going. I know who you are. Crosses upside down. No. Go oh, damn. Yep. <laughs> they changed that up from the last trailer. Yeah. The music was chilling that I got like chills on the back of my spine. That's good. That. That's what you want. It's about the ambiance. It's about the music. It's about setting you up for the scares. And, you know, there's a lot of movies that rely so heavily on jump scares. And I understand jump scares are a big part of horror. But at the same time, it's always that build up, that suspense. I feel like that's what the first Conjuring got. And then they just hit you one by one when it came down to setting up the tension and then finally just scaring you for the rest of the movie. Yes. Two, I felt like relied more on the jump scares uh, versus setting up that suspense. And I'm hoping we kind of get back to that. But it really depends. I mean, it depends on what kind of movie they want to give us. It's very true. Um, I mean, and they also have to f find a way to kind of change it up a little bit because it's the third one. Right. And you kind of don't want to go back and tread on the same, like, scares that you've done before. Because sure. you're like, oh, they're just doing what they did before. And so it'll be interesting to see how they they do it this time around. Because that whole hallway thing, at first I started thinking of The Nun. Yeah. You know what it reminded me huh. of, though? It just made me laugh. And now every time we're going to watch that scene, it's going to make me laugh. Uh, and the part in scary movie where it's like i think she's starting to suspect something and then it like the shadow and then it's like who your wife and it ends <laughs> now you've ruined that scene for me now i don't know i just came down here to get a banana <laughs> i got mine on friday <laughs> either way guys what did you think of this final trailer for the conjuring let us know down in the comments below you can like and subscribe and do the thing on our facebook twitter tumblr instagram all the social networking gin joints you know where they are Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye. Bye.